Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We are moving now today into chapter 5. Let's look at the first three verses there in Luke chapter 5. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. So, boy, I hate to stop there, but... We'll carry on tomorrow morning, but let's just look at this for a minute. So the multitude want to hear. They want to hear. What do they want to hear? They don't want to hear platitudes. They don't want to hear just a uh, humdrum, put us to sleep preaching. They want to hear the word of God. And so they know by this time, if you want to hear the word of God, you go straight to Jesus and you, you know, open your ears as wide as you can. So they go there. Jesus has got a lot of people to talk to. So there's boats there. The fishermen are out. They've done their morning fishing, and now they're they're clean. They're uh, you know taking care of their nets, putting them in order. Jesus says, "Hey, set up. Let's go out here, and then I'll be able to speak to a large this large group." And so they're going to actually do it. Another bit that's kind of interesting here is sitting down to teach. We're used to what the students sit and the professor stands up and teaches. Well, that's the way we sort of do it these years, but back in those days, everybody else stood and the teacher sat down. Out of respect, the teacher sat down and the people stood and listened. And so Jesus sits down in the boat and he begins to teach. So here we have kind of a cultural thing that's a little bit different between them and us. It's a little bit different between them and us, but it's very helpful to us to remember and uh, maybe retune a little bit the way we think about things. When we hear the Word of God actually authoritatively correctly taught, we should give full respect, full respect, full respect to God. Of course, we can respect our teachers. That, that's good. But, but be careful. Human teachers, they put on their pants one leg at a time, just like everyone else. But we're interested in giving respect to God, and we do that. One part way we do that is by giving respect, lending a sense of respect to the teaching to the experience, the interaction. And so, friend, uh, let's approach things and let's make sure that we are respecting those who teach, who are truly teaching for God. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we have gotten into kind of an entertainment mode. We uh, we kind of go to church and we, then we kind of, you know, rate the teaching, rate the preaching. Uh, Lord, help us to be respectful of you. Help us to seek out your teaching. Help us to understand and know, to know when we're getting a word from heaven. And bless our teachers, bless our preachers and pastors, Lord, please, because we are desperately in need and they are even more desperately in need to be connected to you and deliver to us the word you have for us through them. Bless the teachers and the preachers, Lord, who are preaching truth in a time when the word of God is rare in the land, truly. Bless, we pray and ask in Jesus' name, amen. May you find, seek out, and discover where the word of God is being taught today. And you come and you go and, and, and hear it from the lips of some anointed teacher who's in harmony with the scriptures. God bless you today.